Hello and welcome to Mecha Encyclopedia, a series that covers the Mech Encyclopedia section from the Super Robot Wars games. In this video, we'll be going over the allied knights and magic units featured in Super Robot Wars 30. As always, the unit information provided will be solely from the descriptions given in game. Before we get started, if you're new here, welcome, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. The first unit we'll take a look at is the Ikaruga. Main pilot, Ernesti Echelevier. Subpilots, none. Size, 1S. Height, blank on the Mech Encyclopedia, 11.2 meters on the wiki. Weight, also blank, 21.6 tons on the wiki. The Ikaruga is the flagship silhouette knight of the Order of the Silver Phoenix, a machine Ernie crafted for himself. Its Magius jet thruster gives it the capability for flight. It houses two major power sources, a behemoth heart built from the self-same organ of a behemoth, and a queen's coronet, built from a queen shell case's heart. These give the Ikaruga the ability to generate incredible amounts of power. Its back is equipped with four sub-arms, of which two are enough to overwhelm most ordinary silhouette knights. It can also detach its hand at the wrist and control them remotely via wires, for both offensive purposes and capturing. Ernie built the control panel to resemble a keyboard, giving him a variety of input and output options. Since it requires mastery of full control to pilot, no one other than Ernie is capable of moving or otherwise controlling it. It incorporates a wide variety of revolutionary technologies, all of which give it an incredibly finicky nature that arguably makes it simultaneously the most powerful machine in the world and also the most effective machine in history. In the Western Grand Storm, it tore through Zalodek forces and destroyed Cristobal's personal night runner, the Alkalorix. While it initially struggled against Zalodek's secret weapon, the Wyver, it won its rematch, bringing a decisive end to the war. Attacks include Sorted Cannon Gunfire, Sorted Cannon, Sorted Cannon Max Output, High Mobility Attack. The Ikaruga comes equipped with a twin Titan engine, giving plus 100 energy and recovering 20% of max energy at the start of own phase. It being a silhouette knight, it restores 10% of max energy at the start of own phase, and that 50% energy or more reduces damage taken by ranged attacks by 30%. It also negates the effects of the direct attack EX action. It also has high speed evasion, giving a 40% chance of fully evading enemy attacks at 130 plus morale, separate from its regular evasion rate. The Ikaruga's custom upgrade bonuses, plus 70 energy, plus 2 move, plus 20 mobility. Next up is the Zen Dolg. Main pilot, Archid Alter, or Edeltrude Alter. They can swap between main and sub-pilots. Size, 1S. Height, unknown. Weight, unknown. The Zen Dolg is a centaur-type silhouette knight. It requires two knight runners and is normally piloted by Archid and Edeltrude. It comes equipped with two ether reactors to compensate for its irregular size, giving it high output. It specializes in high-speed combat, since its form is unlike that of any previous silhouette knight, it requires a completely different control setup. Kid controls the upper half, while Addy controls the lower half. It first appeared in a friendly mock battle against the Silhouette Knight Laboratory, where it amazed onlookers with its non-standard appearance and outstanding performance. Attacks include Mistshire Javelin, Javelin, Charge Tactics. The Zendol can switch main pilots on the fly. It being a Silhouette Knight, it restores 10% of max energy at the start of own phase and at 50% energy or more, reduces damage taken from ranged attacks by 30%. It also negates the direct attack EX action effects. The Zen Dolg's custom upgrade bonuses, plus 300 attack power and plus 1 range to the charge tactics attack, and plus 1 to movement. The last unit we'll look at is Gold Leo. Main pilot, Emrys Femravella. Subpilots, none. Size, 1S. Height, unknown. Weight, unknown. Gold Leo is the personal silhouette knight of Emrys, Prince of Fremavilla. It is designed to evoke the appearance of a golden lion. Since Ernie was directly commissioned by Emrys to build it, Ernie made certain its design was a perfect match for its intended knight runner. This machine specializes in raw power, and no other silhouette knight can even come close to matching it on that front. It is heavily armored, since it is intended to be piloted by royalty, and despite Emrys' feelings otherwise, safety is paramount. 
but it has such high output that it does not particularly suffer in terms of mobility. It comes equipped with a magical attack called Blast Howling, which uses devices in its shoulders and knees to fire a blast powerful enough to breach the most impermeable gates and blow away monsters, expending an extravagant amount of ether in the process. It has a sibling unit called the Zilva Taiga designed to evoke the image of a silver tiger. Attacks include Sword, Blast Howling, Super Sword. It being a silhouette knight, it restores 10% of max energy at the start of own phase, and at 50% or more energy, reduces damage taken from ranged attacks by 30%. It also negates the effect of the direct attack EX action. Gold Leo's custom upgrade bonuses, plus 3000 HP, plus 500 attack power, and minus 20 energy cost for Blast Howling map. And that's it for the knights and magic units featured in Super Robot Wars 30. A rather light inclusion, as there are more units they could have included, such as the Guer Custom and Earl Cumber. In any case, the Ikaruga and Gold Leo have incredibly good map attacks. I abused them a lot during my first playthrough especially. Gold Leo is also incredibly tanky for a 1S unit, having 500 more HP and only 100 less armor than Mazinger Z. I love brawler type mecha, and Gold Leo delivers with his giant sword and Emrys being a hot-blooded super robot pilot. Ernie was also a blast in this game, nerding out over all the other giant robots. Him and Ryusei had a field day enjoying all the mecha in this game, just like us. Let me know what you guys think about these units, whether in-game or from the anime or light novel. I love to hear your thoughts. And that'll be it for this video. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you could, a subscription and like would be appreciated, as it'll help me continue to make Super Robot Wars content. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.